What's up guys, Sean here, and I am coming to you live from my mini bedroom studio that I just set up for when I can't get any quiet time to record in my main studio area because I have two kids, a dog, and a house full of people. So it gets very noisy here, um, but that's all right because I came up with a solution. So what I'm filming on top of right here this is actually a $15 mini table that I got at Walmart. And I really like the uh, wood grain pattern on here. And it is the exact perfect size for filming and the location, uh, the, the space that I have in the room for it. And I think this is gonna work out really freaking good. So really excited about that. And um, today I'm carrying my XM18 3.5 inch Harpoon Spanto, <gasps> full TI. Wow. I switched over my blue titanium hardware from my 3.5 inch no choil slicer. This is the XM18 that I originally had the blue hardware on, but I had changed it over to the black hardware for a little bit, but I think this knife this combination just looks uh outstanding this is a very very beautiful specimen right here and as you can see this is not a factory edge um this is a kme edge that i put on this reprofiled it laid that edge back a lot because these hinders are thick boys okay and uh you know, they're, they're not extremely fun to cut with unless you lay that edge back a good bit. And even then, they still are not by any means slicey, but they will get the job done. And the ergonomics are incredible. Some of the best in the game. The aesthetic of this is second to none. The fit, finish, tolerances, action, everything about this knife is amazing. But this knife is not what we are here for today. What I want to show you guys right now is some custom 3D printed KME parts that I had made. So I have a buddy, Eric, in the KME users group on Facebook, and he 3D prints custom KME parts, and they are absolutely amazing. So check this out, guys. absolutely insane i did the color scheme to match pretty much everything else that i have um, my blades and fades logo even my weha drivers which those are not custom that's just happens to be the color that they are and check this out so the stone holder or the stone carrier all you do to change the stock wood one as you take out these two screws in the bottom and then this new one just slides in over top and I use some super glue to glue it down. And this has a steel strip inside of it. So your angle cube, your angle cube sticks right on it like that. No need to super glue uh, metal straps to it any longer. So that is really neat. I really enjoy that. And then we have the KME logo here, and he actually printed blades and fades into the stone holder. So that is absolutely sick. And then we have a aftermarket handle right here for the stone holder. The one that comes on it from KME is very small. Uh, you can't really get a good grip on it. So I had an aftermarket one on this already for a while, but uh, I mean, it, it worked great. It was a nice upgrade, but this is even bigger and it has this knurling kind of pattern on it. So you get really good grip, you get good leverage when you're tightening your stone down in there and you feel like you have excellent, excellent control. I like to be choked up a little bit. <laughs> so that fills out the hand nice. Have your thumb on there. 
and you are not easily rolling off the tip when you have a setup like this, which is very, very helpful. So not only that, but as you can see, I have this 3D printed grip right here, and you'll notice that it is actually reversed. And that happens to be absolutely perfect for me and extremely helpful because I have an injury from when I was hit by a car in 2010. I had all my tendons severed across here at the top of my wrist and all my tendons severed across here right at my elbow. So my tendons are shorter. Uh, I'm not sure if I've told you guys this before, but when I close my hand, I only have this much movement and I only have this much movement with my hand open. So when your hand is closed, obviously your tendons are shorter because your, your tendons are what pulls your fingers closed. So like that, I have absolutely zero movement in. So where a normal person would be holding a KME, this would be facing that way and they can turn the wrist and have it like that. So with the um, grip in reverse, I can have full range of view, full range of motion, and I can get to the spots that I need to. This has two sets of screw holes, so you can mount that either way. Then we have this oversized knob <laughs> instead of the three wing um, adjustment nut or winged winged nut, I guess you would call it. And this is also oversized. So you get even more leverage, has that same knurled pattern on it. And I was a little bit skeptical of this stuff at first, but guys, there is no issue whatsoever getting leverage and tightening this clamp down. So that's really nice. And they actually have uh, pressed in threaded steel shaft. So it spins nice and smoothly. Then we have our spring adjustment right here. Huge upgrade compared to the standard version. So the standard one is smaller <laughs> and it is it's kind of hard to get a good grip on it but uh you don't really turn it that often i mean i do but you're not really supposed to be tightening this down too much because it'll wear out these two detents and then we have our angle adjustment huge upgrade for the angle adjustment because that's something you really want to make sure you have tightened down well and the original one is a lot shorter and you, you get a lot less contact surface of your fingers onto it. So it's kind of hard to, well, it's not hard, but it's harder to get that nice and tight and secured. This much easier to loosen and of course easier to tighten. So major upgrades. I'm gonna link the information for Eric Steitler or Stiller, Steitler. I do not know how to pronounce his last name, so I do apologize, but I'm going to link his information in case any of you guys are interested in checking some of this stuff out. I hit him up last week about having this stuff made, and I had the parts within a couple days. And we're talking him making them, shipping them, them arriving to my door, all within a couple days. Very, very quick turnaround time. Props to him on that, and... The quality and the ergonomics and everything is just absolutely excellent. Great design. I'm thoroughly impressed with his work. And uh, I think you guys will be too. And um, uh, I forgot to mention, this stuff is extremely easy to install. Very easy to install. I don't really need to get into that. But if anybody has questions about installation and you happen to get some of this stuff, you have some trouble, just reach out to me or reach out to him and one of us can help you 
no problem whatsoever. So great product right here. And you can also look forward to a review coming out later today. This bad boy right here, the Spyderco Bombshell. I'm about to knock out the full review on this pretty uh, unique and neat knife right here. So make sure you are staying tuned, have that notification bell hit, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.